guys, it's Lori. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today I'm going to be unboxing my Ipsy by BoxyCharm. No, BoxyCharm by Ipsy for November 2023. This came super quickly. Sometimes Ipsy ships quickly, sometimes they do not. And this month it's a pretty quick turnaround. So this is the 28, I think currently, dollar box. This used to be the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. Now it's Boxy Charm by Ipsy. We actually just got an email from Ipsy that they're going to be raising the prices to $30 a month on this box, starting with the December box. But they are saying we can lock in if you get an annual membership at the $25 price, which was what it was not currently because it's $28, but before that it was $25. So I'm really tempted to lock in as an annual member. There's no real perk to being an annual member with Ipsy versus like FabFitFun. You are an annual member, you customize more. With Ipsy, if you're an annual member, you just get a discount on your box, which I guess is a perk, but it's not like an ongoing perk as far as like customization goes. But anyways, this is my Ipsy by BoxyCharm. BoxyCharm by Ipsy. I don't know which one it is. It says Ipsy, but it's really BoxyCharm. Okay. Let's get into it. I am excited about my box this month. Lately, it's been kind of like, eh, not loving the box, but not hating it. This month, I'm pretty excited. Okay, so this is what the little paper inside looks like. It says BoxyCharm, the glam glamest show on earth. If you scan here, pretty positive. It just takes you right to the app and then you can see your picks. And inside shows the power picks that were possible. There's some advertising. And then let's see, there's a flash sale, 1120 to 1126. Black Friday sale is 1123 to 1125. And Cyber Monday sale is 1126 to 1128. And then we build our box on December 1st. And then, oh, this month is an icon box month. So Pat McGrath. Um, and I do not get the icon box. I actually never have uh, I've thought about it. I've been tempted to try an icon box, but on icon box months, I'm always like more excited about my bag. And I feel like I would have like regrets if I upgraded to the icon box and missed out on some of the regular boxy charm picks. I don't know. Maybe one day I'll do it. As of right now, I've never have. Okay. So that was the packing material in there. Let's get into the power picks that Boxy Charm picked for me or Ipsy picked for me. Um, this first one is from Kopari. This is the Marine Clean Purifying Gel Cleanser. This is five fluid ounces. I have a ton of face wash. I really don't need a new one, but I really like the brand Kopari and I'm not upset about this. This seems like a really great item. It has algae extracts, amino acids, and vitamin B5. I want to see if I can open it to smell it because it just seems like it would be really refreshing. It's a little bit more like green algae smelling than what I was thinking. I mean, marine clean, I should have known, but this seems like a summery thing. I don't know if I'm going to like start using this now or not, but I'm not upset about it. It seems like a great item. And the other power pick though is one that I'm really excited about. Okay. I always mess with my hair on a side note on video because ever since I got my haircut like several months ago on video on camera this side looks longer than this side in real life I have like tried to look in every mirror possible it's not it in real life it's not longer on camera for some reason it looks longer I've even had asked people like does one side of my hair look longer than the other and they're like no not at all once I get on camera this side totally looks longer I think I just hold my head weird or something. I don't really know. So that's why I'm constantly putting my hair behind my shoulder uh, because in my viewfinder, this side looks way longer, not way, but just noticeably longer than this side. So I don't know what it is. In real life, it doesn't look like that. I don't know how the camera plays tricks or I just must tilt my head funny. I don't know. Okay, you don't care about my hair, but this is the Ol Henriks Truth Serum. I had a sample of this like years ago from, it was probably a Sephora sample or something. And 
I love it. It smells like oranges, but sinks right into your face. It is amazing. I'm a sucker for vitamin C, so I am very excited about this. This is collagen boosted with true C complex, and it is 30 milliliters or one fluid ounce. I actually have a couple vitamin C serums open right now, so I won't be opening it right now, but I love this stuff. It is great, and I was very excited to have this as a power pick. So I think this was available as an add-on for $18, and if I hadn't gotten it, I would have probably considered adding this on. That's how much I really like this. Okay, now let's get into my choices. So choices this month were kind of funny because... There wasn't a ton of things that I liked in each category, but the things in the category that I did like were like, ooh, I really like that. So the first item that I chose is Drunk Elephant and Chris McMillan Silk Amino Mega Moisturizing Shampoo. This is eight fluid ounces. I'm excited to be getting Drunk Elephant brands in our box. This, um, I'm excited. Ooh, and that does smell really good. It's like a vanilla smell, but a clean vanilla smell, if that makes sense. I am super excited. I've never used any hair products. I've used a couple of skincare products from Drunk Elephant. I didn't even know they made hair care products, but very excited about this. So I don't even remember what the other items were in the first category, but I saw this and I was like, yep, I definitely want to pick the shampoo. And this is mega moisturizing. So that's probably perfect for my hair, especially in the winter. And then, of course, in category two, I had to pick the conditioner. But the funny thing is, well, I guess it is the Silk Amino. So these do go together. They don't look like it because this is green and this is blue. But I'm just looking, the pH is different on them. But I guess that is shampoo versus conditioner, maybe, because this is the Silk Amino line. And <clears throat> I know that there was like another line that the icon box had so I guess these do go together I was just thinking they didn't but this is so this is a shampoo and then this is a like mask um deep moisture mask and it says wait one to three minutes okay perfect this is the type of mask that I have time for in the shower I don't like oh there is also if you want to for deeper treatment you can leave this on for 20 to 30 minutes I don't have time for that my showers are not even 20 to 30 minutes. I would run out of hot water way before that happened. So a mask that says one to three minutes or 20 to 30 is perfect for me because I can wash my hair. I can put conditioner in. I can do the rest of my shower and then just rinse it out as soon as I'm done. And then I know I'm somewhere longer than one to three minutes, but shorter than the 20, 20 to 30. So anyways, I'm excited to try out this combination. To me, that is super fun and exciting to get that in my Ipsy box. And then, as the theme would have it this month, I got another hair product for my third pick. This is the Rose and Quartz Super 7 Leave-In Conditioner with Faucet Fix. This also is vanilla scented and it is 100 milliliters or 3.3 fluid ounces. I had never heard of this, but I went and was reading reviews before I picked and this had amazing reviews. People said that it like was a miracle worker for their hair. So. I have a ton of hair products, but I thought this would be fun to try out. And I figured, hey, why not make it just a complete hair care month? So those were my choices. Three hair items. Not upset about it. That's super exciting. Truth serum that I'm very excited about. And where did, oh, it's back here. I'm like, where did it go? Uh, and the Kopari Marine Clean Face Cleanser. So overall, see, look, my hair is so... What is going on here? Like when I push it all forward, it's not as bad, but it's so much longer on the side, on camera. In real life, it does not look like that. I do not know what is going on with my camera. So anyway, that's my random little like squirrel thought for you. So I am very excited about my Ipsy bag or BoxyCharm box this month. Let me know down below, what did you get? Did we get any of the same things? And yeah, are you, considering going annual? Are you going to cancel because of the price increase? I heard a lot of people complaining about the increase and saying they were going to cancel. Although I think that was more for the Ipsy bag because that one I think is 13 right now and is going up to $15. I honestly pause that bag almost every month. Like 
almost every month. Maybe once or twice a year I'm tempted enough by the bag and or like an item or two in the bag that I will get it. Most of the time I pause. Now that it's going up a couple dollars more to 15 I will probably always pause that bag uh, unless they really like up their game. $15 is too much for sample size items in my opinion. 30 is kind of pushing it for this bag for this box but that's why I'm really thinking about going annual. Having it taken out of my bank account like all at once and not have to worry about it each month and having it cost 25 sounds pretty good uh, but that's a big chunk of change right before Christmas. So I don't know. I haven't decided but I'm leaning towards signing up as annual. I've never skipped my BoxyCharm by Ipsy Box so it would make sense to be an annual member and take advantage of the savings but let me know your thoughts down below and yeah that's gonna do it for this video. If you're not subscribed I'd love it if you take a second to do that and uh, thanks for watching guys and have a great night.